And here's the final externality example here. Uh, let's assume, let's assume that the market for paper bags is perfectly competitive and that they create a negative externality here. So draw a graph that includes the MPC and MSC here as well. Let's go ahead and go ahead and draw this first here. So the MSC, how is that going to look like here? Uh, and the MPC here. So this, if you have two lines like this here, if there's a marginal social cost, remember the marginal, the formula here is going to be MSC equals MPC plus MEC. And so the, the smaller one is going to be the marginal private cost. And so this is the marginal social cost here. Uh, as well, um, what, you're, what you're doing here is draw a graph that includes MPC and MSOL as well as the market quantity QM. Now, how do you find the QM? What you do is you got you to gotta have the marginal social benefit here. So the marginal social benefit here. Um, as draw that includes MP as well as the market quantity QM. So marginal social benefit, the marginal social cost here. This is the QM. Doesn't say to necessarily label the PM here, but doesn't hurt to do that here. Label the allocatively efficient quantity as QS and, and shade the area of dead weight loss and label as DWL. Well, the allocatively efficient is where MSC equals MSB, uh, that's allocatively efficient. So here is going to be Q star, and here is going to be P star. Actually, allocatively efficient quantity is also going to be Q. I mean, you call it Q star here, but they want you to call this problem here wants you to be QS here and shade the area of dead weight loss and label as DWL. Well, again, if you're producing this much and the allocative efficient point is this much, then the dead weight loss is naturally going to be this triangular area that you see right here. So here is referred to as the DWL here. So what's, that's what, what's what happens in this particular situation here. Now, final question here. If a lump sum tax, now keep in mind, what is a lump sum tax? Uh, a lump sum tax is something that we've gone in through different units, uh, as opposed to a per unit tax. A per unit tax does affect the margins here, whereas a lump sum tax does not affect the marginal cost. A lump sum tax does not affect production. And so uh, most questions that, that ask about lump sum and ask what, how is that going to change your production, uh, generally the answer is not going to be uh, anything at all here. So in this case, if a lump sum tax is opposed, what happens to dead weight loss? Well, again, uh, if if there's a lump sum tax, it doesn't affect any of the marginal cost. So none of the uh, profit maximizing quantity changes. So what happens to dead weight loss? Uh, it stays the same. So the DWL stays the same. What ends up happening is that you, you make the same production, uh, your profitability goes down, so your average total cost is going to increase, but your decision on how many uh, paper bags to produce, it, it stays absolutely the same. So thank you for watching educator.com.